Hey, our friends, today we're drawing another bird. Which one are we drawing? A mockingbird. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> First, let's start by drawing our bird's eye. We're gonna draw an oval or a circle shape about that big. And we can also draw a little pupil inside. Then we're gonna come straight out from the eye. We're gonna go straight out and we're gonna draw a small little V. The bottom of the V, we're gonna draw a straight line out from it, like that. And then the top, we're gonna draw a straight line, but right at the end, we're gonna curve and connect to the bottom. There's the shape of a mockingbird's bill. Beak. Yeah, or beak. Now we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw the head. We're gonna draw a curve that comes over the eye. We're gonna come around, and then we're gonna start coming down, but look, I'm drawing a diagonal down. Yeah. Then we could draw the back. We're gonna draw it coming back further like this, and we can stop there. Next, let's draw the wing. We're gonna come straight down from the eye, and then a little towards the back, and. We're gonna start about here, and we're gonna draw a curve that curves back like this, and then we're gonna draw a line that comes past the back line. Ooh, we could even go a little further too. Yeah. Then we're gonna come back up here, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down, and then right at the end, we're gonna curve in and connect to the wing, or to the first line. There we go, there's our wing. We can also add more details. Let's draw a curve that comes around like this, and then we're gonna come back and connect in. So I drew an another little curve at the end. There you go. Now let's draw more feathers on the end of the wing. We're gonna start here, and we'll draw a curve that comes down, connects to here, and then we're gonna draw a curve that comes around like this, There you go. Let's add another feather right here. We're gonna draw another U shape that comes in like this and then back. And then we can draw, let's draw one more smaller feather inside. Then we're gonna fill in this area with more feather lines. We're gonna draw a bunch that go all the way forward and now I'm going kind of fast because we're just repeating the same step. So if you need extra time, remember you can always- Pause the video. Yeah. Let's add a few more feathers on the back of the wing right here. I'm gonna draw another little U shape that comes out. And I'm gonna draw another one. And maybe one more to end it. There's our mockingbird's wing. Now let's draw the rest of the body. We're gonna start here and draw a line that comes down for the neck. Then we're gonna curve down further for the belly. We're gonna come around and then we're gonna stop about halfway in the wing, below the wing. We'll come back to drawing the bird. Let's draw the branch that our bird is sitting on or standing on. We're gonna draw a kind of a wobbly diagonal line coming down our paper for the branch. And then let's come back up here and we'll draw the other side of our branch. Yeah. Then let's draw the legs. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down and right before we get to the branch, we're gonna add a little bump. This is the little toes going around the front of the branch. Then we're gonna draw the other side of the leg. We're gonna start here come down, it's a really skinny leg. And then right here, before we get into the branch, we're gonna draw on top of the branch and curve in. There we go. Then let's curve back up for the rest of the toe. Now let's come back up here and we can draw the end of the leg or connect those two lines together. Then we can draw a zigzag line for the rest of the leg coming up to the wing. And we can also add a little curve at the front. 
Okay, now let's draw the rest of the body. Right here, the, the belly line that comes and connects to the leg, we're gonna imagine it going behind the leg, and we're gonna come up and connect to the wing. Then we're gonna draw the other leg coming down. Right here, we're gonna draw another diagonal line that comes down, and right before it connects into the branch, we draw a little curve. Then let's do the other side of the leg. We're gonna come down, and right before the end of the branch, we're gonna draw a curve for the toe. Then we'll draw the curve coming back up for the rest of the toe. And then we can also add, let's add a little fuzzy line right here. We're gonna draw a zigzag line connecting up to the wing. Then we're gonna imagine that zigzag line going behind the wing and we're gonna come up a little higher. And look, my zigzags are getting kind of big. I'm gonna come up really high like this. And then we're gonna draw the tail feathers sticking up. So we're gonna draw a curve coming off the back like this. And we're gonna come up really high. And we can stop there. Then let's curve around like this. And we're gonna come back down into the body and stop there. Let's add another line for the tail feathers. And I'm also gonna add another line right next to it too. Let's make it look even more 3D by adding another curve that comes out. This is for the wing that's on the other side of our bird. Then we're gonna curve back around and into the body just like this shape right here for the other wing. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our mockingbird. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Before we fast forward, we're using our Art for Kids hub markers to color with. If you have the same set, the colors we're using are WG3. This is a warm gray, a light warm gray. Also WG7, which is a darker warm gray, and then also a brown color, 41. We might use some other colors, but first let's use WG3 and we're gonna color in most of the bird, except for the belly, with this color. Kay. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video. Now I use 41 for the branch, and I also used a curved texture to make it look more 3D. Next, I'm gonna use my darker gray, WG7. I love what you're doing, Jack. Keep going. Thank you. We also added little white texture stripes on the feathers. I also left the white tips on these feathers over here. Now I'm gonna use the darker gray to make these feathers darker on the wing. The last thing I did was use CG1. This is a cool gray one, a really light gray, and we use this to add a shadow to the neck and belly and also the legs. I did a little back here also. Looks great, Jack, keep going. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our mockingbirds and they turned out awesome. Yeah, they look so much better colored in. Yeah, I think so too. I hope our art friends will color their drawings also. I especially love that we used only two colors, or well, two grays, a WG7, which is a dark gray, and a WG3, the lighter warm gray for the body. But then we also used a cool gray, CG1, for the shading on the bottom of the belly. We also added extra leaves just for fun. Yeah, I like the color that it added. Also remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different and they both turned out awesome. That's because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice, remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.